Hi, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, my name is uh, Ravid, and I will uh, present today uh, our recent uh, work, um, Tabular Data, Deep Learning is Not All You Need. Um, so this is a work that we have done at my group at uh, Intel. And we wanted, in this work, we wanted to ask a very simple question. Um, should we use deep neural networks for tabular data uh, in practice? Because many times we have this uh, intuition that actually deep networks are not so good when you want to work uh, on uh, tabular data. And we want to try to quantify a bit and to check it. Um, so we took, uh, we compare uh, recent uh, deep networks, uh, Tabnet, Node, uh, one DCNN, DNFnet. So it's a recent. They are recent uh, deep networks, and we compare them to the some baseline uh, XGBoost. And also we took uh, ensemble of all the models. So ensemble of all the models, just taking all the models and make uh, some uh, um, uh, weighted average of their prediction. Okay, um, and we used 11 different data sets and most of these data sets um, were taken from these original, um, from, the, from the papers of the, of, the, of the networks, okay? So for most of the, of the data sets, we already know some of the, of the results. And we did a lot of experiments when we got a lot of uh, numbers. Uh, and I will try to, to explain a bit what we, what, we, what we asked and what the answers that we got. Um, so the first question that we wanted to ask is, do the deep models generalize to other data sets? So remember that we have some data sets. We have results for, for some data sets from the original papers of uh, these models, and we want to ask, like, what are the results for all uh, for these models for other data sets, data sets that they didn't uh, see before? Um, and this is exactly uh, uh, what we measured here. So for each uh, model and for each uh, network, we check all the, we compare all the uh, the performance on all the data sets that didn't appear in the original paper of this model, okay? So uh, we have here uh, some measurement of how well uh, each uh, model generalized to other data sets. Uh, and we check uh, all the, the models, we average over all the data sets. And here you can see, so here you can see that uh, this is the, the performance, the average performance that it's uh, um, uh, relative to the best, uh, the best model. So here, uh, lower is better, okay? And you can see here that actually the deep networks are quite bad, okay? They are really far from the best model for each, uh, for each data set. And XGBoost, this is our simple baseline, is really good and, um, and really close to the, to, to be the to be the best one, and if we are taking and sample all of of all of them, including the exit boost, we get very good result. Okay, um, so the answer is no. Okay, we all these models actually uh, don't generalize to other uh, data sets, and it's quite bad. Um, and the next question that we asked is, okay, so we, we know that actually an ensemble of Axiboost and these uh, data sets um, performs better results, but do we need both Axiboost and deep networks? So maybe the ensemble is the answer to, to, the, to the good performance. Um, so here we check we check the ActiBoost and we check the ensembles with ActiBoost and also without ActiBoost. And as you can see here, that the ActiBoost is really important 
for the for the ensemble. So the ensemble of deep networks alone is not enough. Uh, it's better than the than the the other models, but it's not enough. And we actually need the the XG boost um, to get a better uh, better results. So here it's yes, and um. And the, the next question that we asked is um, which model is easier to optimize? So we know uh, in practice that uh, many times deep networks are really sensitive to the choice of the hyperparameters. We know that we need to tune them uh, a lot in order to get good results. Uh, and it takes us a lot of time and it's hard. We don't know in advance if it will work. Um, so what we have done, we uh, try to optimize the hyperparameter of uh, all the models, okay? And we measure the best uh, performance for uh, at each uh, uh, step. So here, uh, y-axis is the, the loss, the, the loss of our model, and the x-axis is the steps that we uh, have done uh, in tuning our hyperparameters. And as you can see here, the red line is actually boost, okay? So, uh, so we get a better performance in, much, uh, if in a much fewer steps. So it's much easier to optimize actually boost compared to all these uh, uh, networks, deep networks. And the next, uh, the, the final question that we wanted to ask is, um, do we need all the models in the ensemble? So we saw that it's better to use ensemble and uh, we, we must that actually the XGBoost will be bigger in our ensemble. And now we want to ask, okay, so what about uh, um, all the models? Do we need all the models? Do we need to, uh, take him and, and put him into our ensemble because it's quite expensive to train all these models. And maybe we can choose subsets of this model and it will get us the same results or, or um, really close uh, results. Um, so here, uh, so of course we have many options how to choose our model, uh, what model to choose first and second, etc. cetera. Um, and here we, we compare uh, um, two, uh, three different uh, um, options. So first of all, we can choose them randomly, okay? Just to choose model uh, and the other one, and then the third one. Um, another option is to, to look on, the, on some validation loss, how much, um, how good these models, and then to choose the best model, like some greedy um, algorithm that just choose the best model um, uh, each time. And the third option is to look on the uncertainty of these models. So we, you can measure the uncertainty of the models uh, on the data set and to choose the model that, it's, uh, that has the, um, uh, a better confidence in his uh, predictions, okay? Um, and, and, and we compare them, we compare all these uh, methods and here you can see, uh, so x-axis is the number of model that we, uh, that we put in our ensemble and y-axis the, is the, the loss. And actually you can see that the, the, the both the, the validation uh, based, the validation loss uh, based order and the uncertainty based order are uh, much better than random. This is one thing. And the other thing that we actually, we need uh, all, the, all the models. We have improvement um, as we go and, and, and choose more and more models. So we need them and this is uh, important. So to conclude, um, at least in our experiments, uh, experiments, Exibus, outperform deep networks and ensemble is better uh, and we, ensemble is better than all of them together. Uh, so it's not clear at least uh, at this point if we need to use 
uh, deep networks. And if we, uh, or we should use XGBoost, uh, just simple uh, old XGBoost. That's it. Uh, if you want to look on the uh, other things that my group at Intel uh, is doing, you can go uh, to the website. Um, we are doing uh, very nice uh, and cool things. Um, that's it. Thank you very much.